everybody welcome back now there is a quick uh, point of note i need to make about that intro video for sam and adam the tabletop tavern has what do you call them underscores in between the words apparently if it's all one word it's somebody completely different <laughs> so i will it's fix that before that. the next show i promise but Get out of here, you. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Across the Pond, where we are a group of crazy people traversing the homebrew world, trying to make our way through the chaos that is 5th edition. Now, we have a wonderful cast here today, every Wednesday, joining me. We have Sadie, who plays the fantastic Nova. Hi, Sadie. Hello. <laughs> we also have joining us Sam and Adam Layla Aoden. <laughs> Hi. Hi again. And not on camera this time for some reason. Joining Layla is Christian B. Ale. Normally he's. Oh, oh, he's in your bodice. Yeah. <laughs> we had a. Uh... We had quite the interesting chat about the B movie not too long ago. So, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and it's platonic love storylines, yes. Yeah? Yes, yes, absolutely platonic. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> when we last left our intrepid heroes, you had made a deal, wheel and deal, with the uh, Sisterhood of the Nameless who were kind enough to take you into the amazing world of the Abyss. More specifically to the 113th layer of the Abyss, where Layla's soul is being held captive by the demon lord Orcus. Uh, at this exact moment... Nova is having, like, a mental breakdown of <laughs> the evil barrage that is just bearing down on her. Um, everybody is kind of standing in this um, open, like, red field of brimstone and <coughs> bedrock. Uh, bless you. And there's, like, pieces of stone that stick up that, that is providing you a bit of cover uh, looking out beyond the stones you can see all manner of crazy creatures crawling around and moving around there's abyssal wretches everywhere uh, there's these strange almost chicken like creatures that are wandering around uh, they completely covered in leather skin their wings kind of fold up behind them and it makes them look like a teardrop mega death chicken no. <laughs> they're, they're about the size of a normal chicken but advanced advanced death advanced. chickens maybe i do have my chicken <laughs> bag with me <laughs> the chicken <laughs> bag yep. um but you do notice that there are a few other larger creatures moving around uh, mainly what appear to be these uh, six to seven foot tall, just nasty green skinned creatures. They look wiry, like their skin is stretched too thin. It's got like boils and growths kind of sticking off of it everywhere. It just does not look good. And there's probably 50 to 100 of them just between the rocks and Orcus's castle, which lies 
about a mile away. Uh, Layla, with your elven eyes, you can see all the way to Orcus's uh, castle, if you want to call it that. Uh, on either side of the door are these massive looking orange orangutans with blue skin and these huge, vicious looking tusks that stick out from their bottom row of teeth. And so that's where we're going to pick up as all of you now standing in the abyss, see, taking all of this in. Well, guys, we might not be here for a long time, but we're here for a hell of a good time. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting yeah. wine out again. <laughs> I love painkillers. Um, okay. I um, might need some too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, but just like takes like a, a sip and just no. No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> Does it help? Mm, no. <laughs> well, it's more for me, and I feel like I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are we planning, guys? Because we need to get over to that castle, but there is a lot of things in the way. I could cast animal friendship on all the chickens and we could have an army of chickens <laughs> with us. I want to say I'm 125% behind that plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything better right now. Than <laughs> an army of little chickens. I mean, I can only cast it four times. So, we can have four chickens as an army. I was promised an army and I'm getting four. Yeah. We'll pick the four <laughs> best and maybe the weaker ones will follow anyway. Do you still have the giant dead chicken on you? It's in my bag, yeah. What if you wear it as like a flesh suit? I'm not wearing the chicken. I'm not wearing the chicken. And another little chicken. We're not on this followers. plan. No, 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 no. We're not, I'm not wearing the chicken. I'm not desecrating my lovely little chicken friend. I will wear the chicken. You're not touching my chicken. Okay. Chicken oh. is off bounds. How rotten is this chicken by this point? The, the church did him up a little bit for okay. me. It's fine, okay? <laughs> Here you go. I've uh, I've loaded a picture of what the the abyssal chickens look like. There you go. Oh, that's that's, that's an abyssal chicken. Um, now, unfortunately, they are not actual chickens. They are fiends. Mm -hmm. So, uh, animal friendship will not work on them. Okay, chicken army plan is out. It's completely gone. So, what I need everybody to do is uh, make a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, I will say that at this moment, you're not moving around. So, uh, if you get disadvantage to your armor, don't worry about it. Because you're not moving around at this point. Okay, good. It's still a 10, but... Oh, good. <laughs> I got oh, 20. Good. I got a got 20. Ooh. Adam's cheating. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I'll show you. Oh. Nice. Um, yeah, that's right. This is crazy. Layla, what did you get? Uh, 22. Wow, Okay. So, nothing in this area detects your presence at this moment. You okay. are somehow completely masked <laughs> from all... Yeah, you get like a tree branch. Like, I don't even know where I got this. Uh, you can't see me, Lisa. If I can't see them, they can't see me. From... 
a little rock pile next to you, you hear a voice uh, speak up as you're all standing there trying to figure out what to do. I believe I can help you. Oh, stepping well, we out love- from stepping out from between the rocks is one of those like super skinny green skin crazy looking things uh that are about six to seven feet tall this one is in the realm of two to three feet tall uh Aww. about about gnome sized uh steps out i mean it is battered and bruised it does not have its weapon um it just looks like it's seen better days. Well, pleased to meet you. Like, well, we'd love your help. Like, what's your name, buddy? My name is Rudderkin. Ah, oh, that's an awesome name. I'd, I'd be very proud of that name. We're all called Rudderkin. Well, that's such a great name. They just had to use it a hundred times. I see you eyeballing that castle. I suppose you want in there. It's it's a want and a need, yes. We have business at the castle. Hmm. Orcus isn't going to like that very much. What about if we bring him a present? Mm, He's not much for the present type. Who? Who is this? You're a weird looking owl. (laughs) (laughs) An owl? I'm not an owl. Oh. You kept saying who, I was confused. No. (laughs) Who is Orcus? The ruler of this plane of existence, of course. I don't know much about this plane of existence. That's fair. You don't smell like you would. You smell clean. Thank you. (laughs) That's not a good thing down here. (laughs) Everybody's going to be able to smell that. Can you make us smell unclean? Unfortunately, that only comes with what your soul smells like. I can change your look, sure. But that's not going to... That's only going to get you so far. You can change our looks? Yeah, I can can change your looks with my abyssal magic. Is that temporary or permanent? No, no, it's uh, temporary for when you're down here. Uh, so, so what was that about abyssal magic? Like uh, my little, my little buddy here, my little friend, my little pal, my little, my little cool man. Is that about abyssal magic? Yeah, abyssal magic. I you gotta be evil to sense. use it, though. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here by yourself? What's going on? You, you want to trade some magic? You want to go behind there, trade some magic? <laughs> Are you evil? <laughs> I'll do anything for magic. Prove it. I want to I'll, 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 I'll turn to Layla <laughs> and go, Your father said he loved me more than you. Wow. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, time out. I said punch her in the face. That's like, wow. <laughs> That's... Wow, you're savage. Wow. Just, just give me Ooh. the magic, buddy. Just give me the magic. Hand it over. Wow. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I'll teach you how to how to. Well, I get beat up every day by the other Rotorkins. It's kind of my place down here, and I've never taken a beating as harsh as that. So, you, you, all right, I'll teach you. I'll teach you the magic of flesh crafting. And maybe maybe we can help you out, you know? That's not that's not fair that your friends are bullying you. Maybe maybe we could be your friend. Well I'm it's hoping not fair that his friends are bullying him. Hush now, hush. Something important's <laughs> happening. 
<laughs> I hope that uh, maybe if I can help you out, it'll be a little jab in the in the kidney of Orcus. You know, maybe that'll Why teach him, teach him some lessons. Lesson? Does, does he need lessons, like with maths? Yeah, he's a jerk. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I mean, we'd appreciate your help. You know, if you can help us get in there, like, I'm sure we'd be able to find a few ways to help you out. Well, all right. First of all, hold on. And he rips a piece of his arm off, like, you know, about an inch by inch square of this green leather looking flesh and with a long fingernail he carves like a rune sigil on it which glows red smoke comes off it smells like fritos uh and he hands it over to aodin whenever you want to learn how to flesh warp eat this okay perfect all at once or over time no you only got to do it once okay okay perfect okay but I'm gonna warn you, if you ain't evil, you're gonna pay for it. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Abs yeah, absolutely. Power. All right, so who wants to get into disguise first? <laughs> Are there any side effects? Maybe. And he touches Aodin. <laughs> with his fingertip. I need I need Aodin to first roll a D6. Yep. And then I need you to roll a percentile die however many times comes up on the D6. And I will tell okay. you what your disguise is as you roll it. Okay, I got a four, so I need to roll a percentile die, which, in my very drug-fueled state of painkillers, can you just remind me what that is? That would be uh, your two uh, d10s. Two d10s, uh, okay. And you want me to do two d10s four times? Yes, but slowly. <laughs> okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, so the first one is 11. All right. So what immediately begins happening as soon as this creature touches you, your bones start to snap and pop in your hands and your fingers grow long claws, which can be used as daggers. Dagger claws, yeah. Best trip to hell ever. <laughs> then roll again. Okay, that is six. CX. <laughs> everyone, everyone watches in awe <laughs> as Aodin's head, eyes, Aodin's eyes push out of his heads, or out of his head, and end in stalks like a beholder or like a crab, lobster, or whatever. I'm a crab person. <laughs> crab Roll head. again. Yep. Perfect. I'm loving that. Loving that. Excellent. Good. Come on. That's going to be 16. 16. <laughs> One of your legs begins to swell and grow larger than the other. Uh, it reduces your walking speed by 10 feet. Okay, I am a lame crab person. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. <laughs> Last one. Let's go big. Let's go big or go home. Nine. Nine. Uh, you already did that one, so roll again. Roll again. Okay. Five. Uh, the color of your hair begin. Uh, wait. The color of your hair, eyes, and skin begin to change color, and you can either be blue, red, yellow, or a multicolored pattern. 
yellow. I want to be a yellow little crab boy. <laughs> yeah. And so it, Rudderkin takes his finger away, and you all now see the new form of Aodin. <laughs> you look stunning. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I want with my little crab eyes, just to look so happy and joyous in this occasion. This is everything I could have wanted out of a trip to hell with my best friend. Nova's trying not to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not that... It's not that she, like, views it as, like, disgusting, but it's that <laughs> it just feels wrong. It Especially, does like, the, the transformation, she's just, like, She's about to, like, have a panic attack. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, who's next? Do you think you should go next, Nova, instead of watching two of us? <sighs> no, no, it, you go You go next. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, Rudderkin touches Layla with his flesh warping magic. Go ahead and roll your d6. One. Ooh, one. All right. Roll your percentile die. Roll again. Seven. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, Layla's eyes also push out of her head, <laughs> forming two like eye stalks, allowing you to look around. In 360 degrees. Crap friends! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Ah. Hmm. Come on, join the crab party. Come join the crab party. My, uh... That one didn't go so good. Um, it was. Mm -hmm. Usually it goes better than that. I don't know. Your turn! Don't worry, it happens. Feel cute. It happens to have four out of five men. <laughs> Your turn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's right. play the abyssal lottery and see what you get. Bing. Yeah. All right. Oops. So for the D6, that is a one. All righty. Roll percentile dice one time. That is a 65. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, he touches you and, like, there's a brief moment where, like, smoke and steam kind of come off. He's like, ah! Well, that's... <laughs> that's... weird. Um, oh, 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 there it goes. Uh, everyone watches as Nova's eyes fill with inky blackness. <sighs> completely covering her eyes. Uh, this gives you dark vision out to 120 feet. And as this happens, your teeth become razor sharp spikes. All right. If you want the handsomest looking bunch of fake demons I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, buddy. You did such an awesome job. Well, thanks. I, you know, oh. I get very little. I mean, by very little, I mean no praise down here. I get no respect. Um, yes, honestly, I can't wait to eat your flesh later. I've heard worse. Uh, so, y'all still, you got to worry about this whole... Uh, Stink, your your clean stink, because they're gonna smell that. I don't I don't know how to help you fix that though. About what about if we hunt you, and then like you know just kind of like pass some of that little bit of stink over? No, no, it's got to come from inside. It's got to come from the heart. It's it's got to be a taint on your soul. 
I, I mean, don't... that one's blank. Yeah, you you don't smell like nothing. Is that is that a good thing or a bad? Will the bear to smell that I smell like nothing? Uh, so I'm gonna tell you. Usually, when souls come down here, they turn into those things over there. And he points towards an abyssal wretch, uh, which basically looks like this small gross looking poisonous creature that just kind of rolls around um, like how to word it it's, it's like a uh, amorphous blob almost um, so uh, yeah you know if your soul stays down here for too long you turn into one of those oh I don't. I don't want to look like one of them. I don't blame I you. Keeping these eyes, though. Like you think I get beat up, they get it worse. They use them for experiments. What kind of experiment? You know, dark ones where they mix and match and see what they can create. That's how Rudderkins were formed. They combined a bunch of them together. So they're kind of like your long lost papa and mamas. Mm, no, more like primordial clay. Oh. Yep. Okay, so back to the smell. How are we going <laughs> to smell ourselves up? <laughs> I you mean, the quickest idea. way is to do something evil real quick. I mean, yeah, you'll have to yeah, repent we, for it later, but... We, we, we've heard your little evil plan. Let's just give it a moment. We're going to have a little discussion. All right. I'm going to take uh, my union-mandated break over here. Okay. Then don't go too far, because I don't want to miss you. <laughs> he just lays on a rock. So, uh, Nova, Layla, uh... What should we do? Well, I mean, I think I'm fine. I don't want to be evil to these people. I've already got it hard enough. I mean, you could just, I don't know, kick a chicken. How dare you? I mean, it look easy enough to kick. Uh, would that be evil? Uh, you want me to go hurt animals? No, 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 just... Play with it. Roughly. But when you're going to be stuck here forever unless you do one little... Okay, so we've got the animal abuser over here. No, but have you got any ideas? (laughs) (laughs) Let me talk to someone rational for a minute. (laughs) Let's just not. I like my soul the way it smells. Like, okay. So, full on frontal attack on the demon hordes? Why are we attacking? Because I don't, because I'm imagining if we're going to try and get in there without the evil smell, it's going to end in a fight. Unless we can find another way in. That sounds... If there isn't another way in, I could always go ahead and then cause a distraction while she goes um, through and hopefully they won't smell you. Hey, Ruddy. Oh, are you talking to me now? Yes, yeah, I've decided to name you Ruddy. I think you deserve a name all of your own. What? What do you want? Do you know of any other ways into the castle? Because you seem like a very, like, smart, very knowledgeable fellow, and I'm sure you'd love to help us. I feel like I've helped you a lot. Yes, but the gift of friendship just keeps on giving. That's terrifying. 
Uh, to answer your question, nope. I mean, unless you can climb walls and go in through a window on another floor, maybe. But as it stands, no. Front front door, best door. Okay. Um, okay, if we want our souls to stay fresh, uh, might have to go Layla's plan. I'm, I'm sure nothing can go wrong with that. At all. I'm not doing it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna kick the chicken. No, no, not the chicken plan. The, uh, the distraction plan. Oh. Clear the yeah. path. So I don't smell clean. I smell like nothing. I don't like it, but it is the best that we've got, so. Okay, give her a little pat on the back. Good luck, buddy. See you in a bit. <laughs> All right. What What are you doing, Layla? No kicking chicken. No, what kicking a chicken? Is there, like, a side bit I could, like, take them to somehow if I did cause a distraction so they could sneak past? Uh, everything is pretty well spread out. Um, okay. But you probably could finagle it. Finagle away. Finagle away. What's that mean? <laughs> go for it. Just go for okay. it. Go for it. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to walk into like the general middle of the mall and really hope that they understand what I'm saying. So if not, I'm going to have to improvise and shout, Dance party, follow me! I should have kicked the chicken. I should have kicked the chicken. <laughs> Do you speak abyssal? No. All right. What language do you speak this in? Um, I'm just gonna go for Minotaur. <laughs> Okay, uh, what I need you to roll is a, um, like a persuasion check. <laughs> Two! <laughs> so, a few of the rudder can turn and look at you. The, uh, the abyssal wretches, they just keep doing their thing. It appears they're pretty mindless. Um, but the, the, uh, rudder can turn and look at you with their large oversized glaive weapons. And they're just like, I've never seen you before. We're not allowed to dance down here. That's what makes it so fun. It's a forbidden dance. If we do it over in that corner, no one will ever know. And we can have such a fun time. I do like the idea of doing something a little uh, rebellious and chaotic. It's been a while. I mean, I'm chaotic evil. I'm sitting here taking orders. Exactly. Don't you just want to feel free, even for five minutes? They all kind of start looking at each other and they're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Can, can you help me round everyone up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no problem. Let's, uh, they immediately begin rounding up all these uh, troops and things like that. And they all kind of move over around the side of the castle. The only things that remain at this point, aside from the wretches, is the two large orangutan looking creatures. They okay. appear to be chained down in front of the door. Hmm. 
can I start dancing, incorporate my bow into it, and fire two bows at the chains? Two arrows at the chains? <laughs> sure. Yeah? Sure. It's a really interesting, like, method of dance. <laughs> <laughs> Not 20 for one. Perfect. All right. And it's like the best interpretive dance ever. Yeah. And twelve for the other. <laughs> so in your crazy sporadic movements, you're able to pull the bow, fire two arrows. The first one completely breaks the chain. The second one takes a huge chunk out of it, enough that the uh, large creature is able to grab the chain and break it. Both of them kind of lumber up to you. Like they've got drool and froth kind of coming out of their mouths and everything. Like, and they're just staring you in the face. Hey, join in. They appear way too dumb to understand that. Um... <laughs> Can I just dance up against them? Like, twerk on them? <laughs> <laughs> just keep them distracted, just looking away from anything else. So as soon as you begin to attempt to twerk, they run. Um. <laughs> they run and dive off of, like, cliff sides and everything to get away. Not to their deaths or anything, but just to escape. One of them actually leaps over the rocks that Aodin, Nova, and Rudderkin are hiding. It's like... <laughs> now the path I is think that's our cue to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think it's our time to try and sneak into the castle then, through the front gate. Yeah, let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> you all walk up as Layla's like doing the robot. <laughs> I call this one the Warforged. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, proceeding into the castle, it's very intricate, like onyx and marble pillars everywhere. It just seems to have this red light that just comes from wherever like but nowhere at once it just it radiates everywhere um now as you proceed in you see many doors all over the place but there is one set of doors that immediately catches your eye down towards the end of the hall massive like um like a iron wood kind of door uh, carved with all of these souls like reaching up and being tormented. They're all stacked on top of each other with Orcus standing atop Captain Morgan style. I need everyone to make perception checks while you're thinking about what to do. Not me, I'm Seven. That's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a nat 20. And a seven. Seven. Layla? Okay, I'm doing one, even though I'm dancing. <laughs> this is auditory. <laughs> 19. All right. So, uh, Layla, you're dancing along. You're 19. You can hear the sounds of voices kind of all over the place. Uh, nothing like standing out. Uh, Aodin, you're like taken in the sight, so you're completely oblivious to the voices. Wonderful craftsmanship. Wonderful. <laughs> right? Now, Nova, however, coming from those doors, you hear a very clear and distinct voice that appears to be very angry and upset. And uh, 
it almost sounds a little familiar, but the voice says, I, I'm, I'm sorry, we, 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 we've looked everywhere. I, I don't know where the, the humans have kept it. Then the sound of furniture breaking and like something getting slammed on a table. It sounds familiar? Mm-hmm. It sounds like an old froggy friend. Aoden? Yeah? I have no idea what's going on. I don't but know. But that's that friend. frog, isn't it? The frog... Fr like Mr. Frog, Mr. Frog, King Frog. Yeah. Oh, I love when we go places and we run into friends and when we're not expecting it. No, I don't <laughs> think this is a good thing. Uh, no, he was somebody... he no, some cards. Yeah, but why Why would he be here? Somebody is not happy with him. Something about um, humans keeping something. He doesn't know where it is. Oh. Huh. It sounds like he's tangled up in some some bad stuff down here. <laughs> well, like he seems like such an upstanding frog gentleman. Like I'm sure like he's I'm sure, you know, he's here for good reasons in hell. In this deep <laughs> Deep part of hell. Aoden, I'm not even sure that we are here for good reasons. <laughs> I'm just kidding on that, but <laughs> why why would somebody be here? I mean, no, see, you make a good point. We're here. Like, we're here to get Layla. <laughs> Maybe he's come for Layla's soul. He's trying to help us. Like, I think we should always believe in the goodness of our friends and the goodness that's in their heart. I want. Isn't that right, buddy? I really, I really want to. 